they went down for a few months and we were fixed. The tripod. In the tripod. The tripod. <laughs> the tripod is actually where West Life auditioned as well. Really? Yeah. And boys on the same. And boys on too. Yeah. yeah. Do you know the one thing about the boys on when 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 you look back at that old footage on the Late Late Show again? <laughs> you know, some, have you done have you done anything that you reckon in ten years time when you when you will be as successful oh, as? Yeah. as we, actually, yeah. we actually did the Late Late Show. Yeah. And although we weren't dancing like silly dance routines, yeah, but backpacks yeah. we had hair as high as like the ceiling. Not, as, not, not, not like Jedward S, no. Like close to Jedward, yeah. like the female Jedward. Like oh my someone God. Someone did our hair and our hair was like ridiculously high. So like that when we look back on that, yeah, we're okay. going to be like but George's. But at the time, high hair was in, so he, yeah. did, he, he did a good job. Yeah. So you're on the Late Late Show in 1984. Yeah, exactly. Um, been for years. You've played uh, what has got to be not one of the most famous stadiums in Ireland, but the world. And I know that the Emirates Stadium, uh, the Arsenal's home, to home ground, was modelled on the world famous Croke Park. Can you play that? Yes. Oh my God. My mate's a big, big, uh, big fan of Arsenal, and I've got a big thing of uh, it's a big, big picture frame picture in my house of Croke Park oh. when Arma, my county, won the All Ireland with Big Kerry in uh, 2002, <laughs> and he was looking at, at the poster and he was looking around the ground and he said, "I can see the similarities and everything else." Yeah. He, he said exactly the same. Only uh, I think uh, the Emirates a little bit higher. So you play Croke Park. That yes. must have been mind blowing. Oh, it was absolutely unreal. And tell us about the uh, the little bit of a sort of fashion crisis with the high heel shoes. Oh in case. God! Oh my God! I can't believe it happened. Like looking back, but um, I looked in my bag and I had two left shoes. Right. And um, I couldn't believe it, but I had to put them on anyway. Did you? Oh, you had to wear them. I had to wear them because I have I didn't have any other pairs. So. So when you were dancing, did you dance like your two left feet? Uh, oh, yeah, no. I did actually. I just tried to stay as still as possible. <laughs> Thankfully, we don't do dance routines here, right, okay. so I can uh, just stand there and sing. It's just the whole thing. Oh, well, it's funny to look back it on. It certainly is. It certainly is. It's, it's just there's a hobbling on. And, and yeah. One in high heels at the best of times. I mean, we struggle, Jay, don't we? Yeah. But uh, going with two left feet. My, my friend, actually, you, you know Jay, uh, Steve-O, he actually does have two left feet. No way. And uh, when he goes on no. holidays, he doesn't wear flip-flops. He wears flip-flips. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, like prawns and cocktail sauce, I'm on a roll this morning, ladies. Uh, yeah. um, so, uh, what about the X Factor? I've got to ask you all individually uh, as to who you think. Uh, Lee, first, who do you reckon will win this year? I'd like Matt to win. Matt, I okay. Think he's Is that because you fancy? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you've been the He's very, very talented. No, very, very, very talented. Uh, Casey? Uh, Matt also, the notes he can hit are unreal. He is, he's got a... He's Most got women can't hit those notes. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in the high heels, two left feet high heels. <laughs> Karina, what do you reckon? Uh, Matt as well. All right, and you're going for Matt, Jodie. When I saw him in his vest, I was like, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I'd have to say Matt as well, just because I'd like to listen to an album of him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go for the Liverpool girl, Rebecca. Rebecca, yeah. Yeah. Rebecca she Ferguson. Is. Oh, she is gorgeous. She is. The she's two got a tone that's like out of this world. Yes. I remember when she came on first and they started crying because I was just like, when you like when we listen to singers, especially females, like she's got an incredible tone. And she has. So it's something that you yeah. listen to for hours. I like her modesty as well. I like the yeah. way she's building her confidence. But yeah, 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 yeah. she's yeah. absolutely she's stunning as well. Yeah. She's, she, so she's very easy on the eye, I must say. I haven't noticed <laughs> that, ladies. <laughs> 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 very <laughs> for <laughs> one. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you know, we're backing her, and, uh, you know, we're backing her not just because she's from Liverpool, because we think she is the real deal. Yes, yes. And there are there are three or four there that are really outstanding. Um, you've got to give it to uh, One Direction as well. Oh, yeah. that's so yeah. cute. Yeah. Yeah. They're uh, like five little Justin Bieber. They are a little bit. They're, they're, they're sort of getting that Justin Bieber sort of yeah. comb over yeah. sort of kind of look. Yeah. They're actually bringing out a range. Did you know this? A box of no shorts way. already. Oh, I'm not what? sure I think that's a good idea. One direction boxer shorts. I prefer the going two directions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sharon, you're so oh, naughty. Oh, oh, Julie, it's never too early to rock and roll. <laughs> Come on. Uh, so, right, okay, you've got the new single, which comes out in February, okay? Yeah, I've got yeah, it in front of me here. Is this, going to be, is this going to be snatched off me when you leave? No. You can keep it forever. Forever and ever. Sign it for me. Of course you will. Will you sign it for me? Don't be looking at eBay. It's neither to be on there. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the, 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 the song uh, is out in. Uh, you've got a date in February, so just look out yeah. for sometime in February. 21st of February. 21st of February. Yeah. 
the week after Valentine's Day. Uh, and it's so, not a love song. And it's not a love song. How good is that for marketing? We're not releasing this on Valentine's Day. you get stood up on Valentine's Day. Yes. I, uh, well, I'm looking forward to this. So I'm going to play the song right okay. now. Okay. But yeah. would it be possible if you would do us a live a cappella in? Yeah. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Is that okay? So, uh, so are you ready? Yeah. I'll, I'll count you in like, like, a, like okay. a proper drummer. Jody and Sharon. Oh, is that going to be a hit or is that going to be a hit? It's going to be huge. You know, they've just got everything. The gorgeous girls to yep. look at, the gorgeous on the inside, the talented. You just couldn't ask for more. They're absolutely lovely. They really are. I'm just, I'm just blown away by the uh, the life acapella that they did that just there. It was amazing. And the power of that song is just... I. Oof. I think that's better than, and I'm a fan of some of the Girls Aloud tracks, and I don't want to start comparing them or putting them in pigeonholes or anything like that. I think that's better than anything that's ever, ever been released by Girls Aloud. Definitely, and to just stand and do that live was absolutely outstanding. It really was. It was no music, a cappella, everything. Brilliant. They're just in the next door for a cup of tea, so I'm going to do this. <laughs> You're orange. <laughs> You're probably too young to remember Toya. Do you remember Toya? Uh, Toya Wilcox? The voice of, uh, she's the voice of Teletubbies. Oh. You know Toya, orange ginger hair? Just a bit like Cindy Lauper as well. A little bit of Cindy Lauper, that's it, Cindy yeah. Lauper. Do you remember Cindy Lauper? Girls just want to have fun. Yeah. And Rossi just wants to oblige. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's not on our Facebook page. Is that cool? You're going to go on our Facebook page. Hey, listen, uh, thank you very much, ladies, for coming in again. Thank you so much for having us. What I said about the record, across my heart, I hope to die. I meant every single word, and I'm saying that because you're here. I, I just think the power of that record is phenomenal, and uh, it's it's what we call in the industry a fabulous radio song. So it's one of those that when you hear it on the radio, the, it's like Robbie Williams, come on, done it's a fantastic radio song. Don't make us cry. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I really made a very rude comeback comment there, but I'm afraid I've said because I am a gentleman, not a scholar. Uh, but seriously. I I'd like to say to uh, to Lee and Casey and Karina and Jody and Sharon, thank you very much for coming in this one. Wonderland! Wonderland! Wonderful Wonderland! Good luck with the new single.